Um, just last night, um, our mission team um, just got back from a mission trip in North Carolina. Um, they, they went down to North Carolina and they worked on some home repairs for some folks who needed to come on up Harvey. And I invited a Harvey Fry to come up and share a little bit about his experience um, that he had on the mission, uh, mission trip this past week um, so that we could better understand a little bit about what incarnational living might look like. So um, yeah, so I introduced a little bit, you're Harvey Fry and you just got back from the mission trip. Um, and you were working on home repairs for folks in North Carolina. Um, so can you tell us, Harvey, today, real briefly, um, what, was, what specifically did you do for the family on the mission trip this past week? We replaced the roof. The roof was um, two layers of shingles, four layers of uh, tarps that mm -hmm. were covering it. It was that bad. Um, if you ever watched... Uh, home makeover, extreme home makeover. You can get an idea of what it was like. Um, completely redone the kitchen, um, cabinets. The sink was like at an angle in the countertop. He washed his dishes in his bathtub. Um, replaced the water heater. Um, just new floor uh, in the kitchen and in I guess it was kind of like a dining room. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you did a lot of work at that house. A, a lot of work. Yeah. yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about um, the homeowner that you served and their family, and what did you learn about their story? Um, George Boone was his name. We found out he was a junior, um, mainly because his firstborn son showed up to help and was actually on the roof working hmm. and doing other work. Um, he said he was George the Third, and um, when we got there Monday morning, the first thing that we saw as he came out of the house was a man who's been beat down um, as low as you can go. He, he wouldn't look you in the eye. He just kind of shuffled along, just that kind of a person, just down and out. Um, he had, uh, over the years, he was a truck driver. He had a broken back and a broken neck from accidents, driving truck. And um, with his home, uh, it was destroyed three years ago from Hurricane Florence. Um, at every turn of him trying to get help to fix his home, he was turned away. Um, FEMA, well, there was issues with that. Um, he was tr to get insurance, uh, flood insurance. He couldn't get that because the restriction was your home had to be 36 inches off the ground. His was 33 inches off the ground. Three inches missed. Yeah. Along with the, 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 the back injury and the neck injury, he wasn't able to really work, so he couldn't really probably afford flood insurance. Um, Talking with his son, his son said that it was a hard thing to watch his father as the house deteriorated, mm. so did his father. Mm. The second day is when I talked to him and he said, you know, he said, since you've been here, I have seen my father change mm. just in two days. He's the most alive I've seen him in years uh, because of the hope we gave him. Um, I, I, I do want to thank the, the ladies that do the quilts because uh, as we usually do, we take a quilt along and give to the homeowners. I was sitting at a table on one side and he was at the table on the other side when... Uh, Diana gave the quilt to him, laid it on the table in front of him. The first thing that he said was, and, and you could see he was breaking down already, was it just doesn't stop. Mm. The blessings keep coming. Mm. Yeah, thank you, Harvey. And, and part, part of what the blessing that, that God did through you was your relationship 
or the work that you did, right? The transformation that he saw in the house, but you were also able, uh, what I heard you say was you were also able to have, uh, begin to form a relationship with the homeowner and the homeowner's son. Yes. Well, you, got, you had some time to talk with them and, yes. and encourage them. Yes, I got them. time to talk with them. Uh, again, learning of him being a truck driver and things. Mm-hmm. Um, his son shared with our group on Thursday night that things had become so bad with the family he has siblings. It was so bad, and, and the siblings were so frustrated that they couldn't get anything done that they stopped coming to visit their father. Mm. And I'm sorry. He said that the work that we have done in fixing that home fixed the family. Mm. That, that we're bringing, the work that we did is bringing back a family. We gave hope to a family. Yeah. Not just one person, but a whole family. Yeah. What a blessing. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that, Harvey. Thank you.